mother, a daughter, three possible dads, and a trip down the aisle that you'll never forget. All that and more is mixed up in the fun hit musical, Mamma Mia, and lucky for us, it's coming to the Wharton Center next week. And joining us right now is Rob Marnell, who currently plays Harry, one of the possible dads in Mamma Mia. Welcome into Studio 10. Thanks for having me. Well, in cold winter days like today, it's nice that the musical that we're about to see is set on a Greek island paradise where the sun always shines. Wouldn't that be nice here in Michigan? But what do you love about this musical that is not only a tale of love, friendship, but also told through the timeless hits of ABBA? It's it's incredible. It's it's an original story. Um, the thing that blows my mind about Mamma Mia that I think is unique is just it's staying power over so many years um when i was cast in the show and i joined the company you know i i thought that i would be seeing a lot of people who grew up on abba music you know like my parents and and at the stage door we have young children you know they're you know, like eight-year-old girls with their mothers and i would say that's one of the most unique things about the show um but yeah all the all the incredible abba music it's all weaved together to tell this um Beautiful little story, and uh, I can't give it away. Yeah, no, that is what you call a tease. Now, you have us on the edge of our seats about this musical, but uh, like you said, it is a fun story that is both a hit on stage and recently on screen. So were you familiar with the show when you were auditioning for this iconic role of Harry? Yeah, I actually am the only person on the planet who's never seen the movie. Movies. Yeah, and now that I'm playing, you know, Harry Bright, uh, one of the three potential fathers, I kind of don't want to watch it just yet because, you know, you, it's not like I, I, I just want to keep it my own interpretation. I got this audition and I went in and I, you know, I, I said, am I, am, I, uh, am I old enough to play one of the dads yet? I, I think I might be, uh, <laughs> being a dad myself now. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that is great. And, you know, you mentioned yourself that you're a dad, so congratulations. But has that played a part in terms of how the show hits home in a new way? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's interesting um, because my son is two years old. So one one line that comes to mind is when Sophie turns to her mother, and this is towards the end of the show, and she says, I'm so proud of you, Mom. Mom. And I think that is, it's, it, it's really, really touching. I hope one day my son will look at me and, and say, say the same thing. Being able to, to, to tell this joyful story every night um, and, you know, knowing that I'm doing it all in all for my family. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very lucky, very lucky. Well, I'm sure the cast is lucky to have you as well. And this musical is celebrating its 25th anniversary, believe it or not. And we chatted a little bit about the fun ABBA music weaved in and out through the show. But do you have a particular dance or song that we should look forward to the most? I mean, all, I, all I'll say is, you know, when the show ends, stick around because it may not be over yet. Uh, it's a big party at the end. I mean, of course, Dancing Queen is so much fun. And I am always down for a dance party, so I'm pumped for that. And, you know, whether, you know, we're a parent seeing the show or a son, daughter, friend, what do you hope people get from Mamma Mia that's kind of been coined as this ultimate feel-good show? Um, just the message of overwhelming joy i mean what we do every night and what this show brings to so many is is so much joy not only for the people watching it but for us i mean we really do feed off this energy and i think now more than ever people are just ready to see this show again yes well thank you so much for joining us here on studio 10 break a leg and bring a coat because it's very cold here in michigan and remember you guys at home can see mama mia and be a dancing queen january 16th through the 21st at wharton center and you can get tickets online and by calling the box office